My name is Robert Bonavito, New Jersey Forensic Accountant. This video is part of a series of videos where I discuss forensic accounting topics for educational purposes only. If this was a litigated matter, I would take a different approach, have different conclusions based on different facts and circumstances. Um, today's topic is, is, is titled, Don't Believe What You Read in the Papers. It's really about arithmetic mean and geometric mean. And uh, it may sound a little bit uh, bland, but these, this is an extremely important topic if you uh, use any type of financial data to understand the difference between these two. And the reason I call it uh, don't believe what you read in the papers because a lot of times you'll see things in the papers that this company has X profit or that profit, and it's totally fabricated. Uh, it's not that they're lying or trying to mislead you. They just don't understand what they're telling you. And, uh, you know, it, it, as far as the papers, I mean, when I was very young, I learned right away that you can't always believe what you read in the papers. And I'll just, you know, divert when um, uh, we, I was, there was, we were being interviewed on, on a, on a, for a newspaper article. And it was me and uh, one of my friends standing next to me. And there was a big game the next day. And my friend was a pretty cocky guy. And he was saying he was gonna do he was gonna do this to the other team. He's gonna do that to the other team. And the coach is that. And their cheerleaders aren't any good. And he went on and on. And I didn't say anything. So you know, I'm like, boy, man, he's gonna get he's gonna be sorry he said all that because you know the team other teams gonna read this. The next day, I pick up the paper and it says Bob Bonavito predicts this and it, everything he said I was is attributed to me. So I was pretty nervous for that game. But anyway, I learned very young that you can't always believe what you read in the papers, especially when it comes to financial news. And let me give you a little example here. Um, this is a, a example of. Uh, profits in what I call New Corp, it's years one through four. Now, if you turn on the, the uh, you know, you read the paper, you turn on the, on the uh, uh, you know, one of these uh, news channels or business channels, they will say that the profit, you know, if you look for year one, was ne he lost 27%, year two was 162% increase, year three was 101% increase, and year four was 84% loss. And what they will put in the paper was that the uh, compounded annual return for New Corp was 38%. Okay, uh, looking at those numbers, do you think it was 38%? Do you think that's true? It is true, okay, if you use the arithmetic mean. But... If you use what I use when I do my analysis for court or for uh, analysis, the geometric mean is actually a 10% loss. And I say, you're saying, Bob, how can that be? How can these four numbers be calculated at a 38% uh, compounded profit or a 10% loss? Well, trust me, it, it, it happens all the time. And when, when, when you see one of these shows, they don't say, oh, this is the geometric mean, this is the arithmetic mean. But, you know, I always tend to use the geomet geometric mean because it's more conservative. And, you know, when I testify in court, if I was to say that the profit for this company was 38%, if the attorney doesn't know the next question, you know, well, the next question should be, Mr. Bonavito, is it the geometric mean or the arithmetic mean? They don't ask that question because they don't understand this concept. But the next question should be, well, if I use the geometric mean, it would be a 10% loss. So let me just do some of the math here so you get a better feeling, you feel comfortable with this. And like I said, you can you know, try this out for yourself. I basically have taken the same information and uh, I assumed a $100 investment. So you'll see in year one, it was a $27 loss. Okay, and my investment would have went down to in the in the uh, the fourth column there seventy three dollars. In the second year, uh, one hundred and sixty two percent gain. Uh, that means my investment went up one hundred and eighteen dollars. So now my investment is one hundred and uh, one hundred ninety one dollars for the hundred dollar investment. Pretty good. Probably should sell it, right? No, maybe not. The next year, the the uh, stock goes up one hundred and one percent. That's one hundred ninety three dollars. So now I have $384, um, which you should be f feeling pretty good about since you've only invested $100. Um, and uh, unfortunately, in year four, as happens <laughs> uh, more likely than not, it goes down 
percent, which means a three hundred nineteen dollar loss. So you have sixty five dollars now. So you actually turned a hundred dollars into sixty five dollars. And um, like I said before, the arithmetic profit is thirty eight percent, and the geometric is ten percent. Who do you think's right? Right? You have less money than you invested, so it's obviously not an increase. And to take this a little bit further, I'm going to give you the cumulative return calculation here. It's uh, the cumulative return at 38 percent. We did 362 percent times 100 would be 362 dollars. So, it, it, if if what they were telling you was correct on the news, assume that they said that there was a 38 percent annual profit in this company. You should have $362 in the bank, but you only have $65. And see, the calculation works out because uh, a 10% annual um, uh, uh, profit would, uh, uh, loss rather, would equate to a 65% uh, cumulative return, which when you multiply that by 100, you come to $65. So, when you see profits or you hear profits and there's a, a, a screen there, you may want to just take a, a step back and see if it makes sense. And if you look at the first screen, it doesn't make sense that uh, this, if you look at the four, uh, four, you know, the profits and the losses for four years, it doesn't make sense that it went up 38%, right? So you have to disregard it. And what you'd say is, hey, listen, they're probably using the wrong mean, okay? Or at, mean is the same as average, right? Um, so uh, be careful with this. Uh, this is a very uh, basic mistake a lot of people use in a lot of analysis by using the wrong method. My name is Robert uh, A. Bonavito, um, New Jersey Forensic Accountant. If you have any questions about this, feel free to email me or give me a call. Thank you.